Hey everyone, today we are here around this corner at this beaver pond and they have a lot of stuff blocking this culvert. It's a small culvert, but the culvert is completely submerged. I just dug a little bit here to locate it. You see where the water's going in? Holding back a few feet of water. I don't know if beavers are here or not. It's too big to be able to see the whole thing and look for a lodge. But coming across the street is where it's coming out. There is a good flow of water here, making it through the clog. But we're gonna try a little bit more. So we're gonna set up a second camera over on this side. Just let me look for a good spot to place it. I think right here will be our best bet. Yep, we're gonna put it right here looking at this culvert pipe. All right, we got our second camera set up here. The mosquitoes are very aggressive today, especially when you're not in the sunshine. Let's get back out into the open and they'll leave me alone. Although out here is not much better. Got a lot of black flies hanging out. All right, here we go. Let's see what we can get going. Woo! Let's figure out exactly where the culvert is. Oh, now we got horse flies around me. These are the worst. Getting it. Look at all these clumps of grass and slop that are in the way. They weigh a ton, they're hard to get out. A few sticks, a bigger stick. Another stick. Still have not yet located it. We definitely increased the flow. But still no definite answer to where it is. I gotta run across the street, figure out exactly where this is lined up. There might be itty with excavator damage.
There's a leech crawling right there. Sticky mud. Let me give you guys a better angle of what I'm doing here. I just located the culvert, but it's very buried inside this embankment. So I'm having to use the rake to chop away at the edging here to get it to flow more. It's been neglected so long. This is definitely a beaver dam, an ancient one. No maintenance in many years. Is that a rock? Oh, no it's not. It's a great. It's the grate! There's a metal grate there. With so many damn roots through it. Oh, wow. Can't believe we actually found a grate. Let's get all this old beaver debris out of the way and thrown up on the side. And we're gonna lift this grate. It's gonna blast so much when we get this thing out of here. I gotta work on it a little bit more though. Get some more of the earth away from it so we can smoothly get it out of place and get it back. I wanna get everything away from it so it doesn't suck anything in all the slop far away from it. This is gonna flow a ton when we get it out. Whoa, judging by the roots and neglect, I'd say this is a good 10 years at least since anybody's done anything for this culvert. Let me show you. Look what we got there. See that grate? It's so rusty and filled in with roots. That's a decade in the making. Wow. Let me set up the camera again. Right here in the water. Okay, we're pretty sturdy. Let's pull this out 
there's going to be a ton of current on the other side. All right, let's hope for the best. Let's hope our root's not holding it. One, two, three. Whoa! Look at the roots and stuff that were stuck in it. Pretty minor. We got to clean this off. And we got to open this up more. The culvert starts right there. And we also got to dig a trench for this water to get over to it properly. Let me set you guys up right here on this log while I work. Alrighty. Break back out. A big old log. Let's go see what it's doing on the other side. There you go, big clump. Wow! Just wow. Didn't realize this was so bad at first. Another log. More clumps of grass. Whoa, camera, nope. You don't get to go. Let's lift this log up. Ugh. Don't get stuck, big clump. trying to show you guys every moment of this. That's why I'm adjusting the tripod during this video. Usually I'd edit that out. All right. You're gonna jam it. You can't go in there. You're too big. Ugh. Oh, are you? Yeah, you too big. Get on out of there. You got to chip it away. There it goes, it took the whole thing. It took it. Wow, I can't wait to see what that looked like on the other side. It took it in full. Wow, it started blasting. I can hear it so loud on the other side. Let's get this great cold up. Let's clean up a little bit more before we head out. Make sure anything potentially that can go through and get stuck has already done so. 
This is going to drop this palm back about a foot until the beavers come back. I can't believe how clogged this one was. Let's bring you guys back up to the road. Look across the street. Wow. Just wow. We'll be over there in a minute. Just let me clean this up. Finish up. We're going to send a few more big clumps. Awesome on the other side. Try not to not get that leech on me that we saw. This is one of those dangerous culverts. You know, I could get stuck in there too if I got near that thing. It's like a foot below the surface of the water, sucking really hard. And I think this is it for big clumps that can easily get sucked in. I think that's it. Now let me let that just clear up so it doesn't immediately get stuck on that grate. Well, oh, here's a piece of a fishing bobber. All right, this water's about done. Before we put the grate on, let me show you the other side because the flow will decrease a bit. It'll decrease a bit once we put that grate back on. But this thing has quite the job to do. I think we're going to set a trail camera up here for a time lapse of this whole thing draining before we wrap it up. Coming across the street. Check that out. Here is before. After. Look at that pipe blasting. And here's some of those big clumps. Let's get them out of here. Woohoo! Wow. Let's go get our camera. I gotta go around. I can't walk across the stream this time. It's too deep without the big high boots. Off. There we go. Check out that blast. Here's before. And here's after. Wow. Let's go quickly set up a trail camera, and then we'll come back in the morning. It's going to be set to making a video. I'm going to set it so it makes a video every three minutes. It'll make a clip. Then we can speed up all the clips as a time lapse. Let's get back up onto the road. I'm going to have to check for ticks. I'm not using any bug spray right now. I should be, but I'm not. Let's quickly... Get that grate back on. That tripod's probably gonna fall over. Let's get it back on. I just laid down the tripod. Let's get that grate back. Immediately, I bet there's gonna be a decrease. Yep, there sure is. Well, a couple seconds later, I heard across the street quiet down a little bit. Now we're going to put a trail camera somewhere not too noticeable, probably on one of the edges. Although this road's not really traveled. 
gets like one car every couple hours. Not one of the main arteries. All right, I just found a spot I really like for the camera. So I'm gonna hit start. Oh, uh, flies. Okay, it's set. Look at how wobbly this tree is. It's about to fall over. It's a dead tree in the swamp. I could literally push that thing over so easily. But I like the location for the camera. I hope it got a good view. Hope so. I'm hoping it's not too high. Because I want it at kind of an angle. <clears throat> Maybe I will break the tree. Just so I can stick it in the ground somewhere else I like. You know what? I'm going to chance this because even if it does fall over, it's not going to fall in the water. I'm going to chance that. The base was actually a little bit rubbery, so I just kind of tipped the whole tree. Maybe now it'll get a good angle of this pond. And we'll come by probably in the morning and re retrieve it. So this is how I walked in here. It's either a fisherman or some animal trail. It's a pretty distinct trail. Everywhere else is extremely dense. Let's get one last look at the conditions before we head out. It's been about almost 30 minutes since we first started. There's very little sign of it calming down yet, but it's definitely decreasing slightly. That's a fact. It's definitely decreasing slightly. And I'm worried sludge might float over and jam up the grate even more. Look at that. Perfect camouflage. You can't even see my camera over there. Perfect. Unless you knew what you were looking for, no one's going to find that. Great camouflage. See you in the morning. All right, guys, so we're now about a half a mile downstream from where we released that water. You see the roads are in pretty rough shape. There's no evidence of tracks in the near future. Luckily, I was able to make it down on this road. So the main road, the only main road after this thing is like three miles down, and it has a bridge. So there's no concern about us releasing that water. Now, this is the reason why I didn't check this road before we discharge that water because obviously no one's going down here and it doesn't really matter what condition the culvert is in on the next road so where we just unclogged that culvert releasing that ton of water is about a half mile up from here so the water should be down here from satellite maps it looks like there's a large beaver pond just here against this road because roads are a perfect opportunity for beavers to build a pond because it's already sort of a dam all they have to do is block the culvert so regardless of the situation we're not going to unclog this one the beavers can have it this is, an, this is an abandoned road that you would need something rugged with skid plates technically anyone could really drive over this this is tiny stuff but I'm not taking that chance. So, there's ribbons there. This may be a culvert, but I think this right here is probably more where it is. There's a dip right here. So these trails, this trail here is basically just open because of moose. Lots of moose tracks. I actually don't see any water at all. It's pretty dry down here. So if there are any beavers, I probably did them a favor. I gotta look at the map again. It is sort of confusing because this road doesn't seem to line up correctly with Google Maps. I'm like 90% sure I've already walked beyond the culvert. And I'm not seeing anything down here. Yeah, there's no way it's coming through there. So it has to be where those ribbons were. And if that's so, this place down here was in desperate need of water. Because I don't see anything there. I'm going to cut into the woods when I walk back by those ribbons. I got an angry horsefly who keeps trying to bite me. A uh, spider web. Let's just cut through here. Ribbons. 
So yes, there is water here, like Google Maps said. A lot less than I imagined. I'm already seeing a couple of frogs. Supposedly over here is a gigantic pond. So is there an actual culvert here? I'm not seeing anything. I don't know why it's marked here. There's a trail here by animals, but I do not see a culvert at this road. Nothing says there's a culvert here. I'm just looking at the map. And if the elevation map is correct, it should be right here. There's no other possible way that riverbed can be moving. There is another dip up here, actually really close to where I parked. Let's see. All right, so like literally 50 feet from where I parked. Yeah, there's a culvert here. By the map, I thought it would have been way down there because it's showing on the elevation map that's the lowest point, but no, it's here. We located it. I'm gonna have to check for check ticks tonight. Let's see the condition of this culvert. Yeah, that water we released did not make it here yet. Ugh. Yeah, take a look at this riverbed. Look how little it's flowing. Barely anything. And that's a plastic culvert, so and I'm amazed it's in great shape. So just take a look at how low this is. Maybe later on tonight, it's only about two o'clock right now. Maybe I'll stop by here again around 7. The water should have flowed but down here by then. And we'll do an update. Let's see what's on the other side. Barely anything. You see the little plunge pool right there? Just a little plunge pool. Barely anything coming out. Yeah, I would definitely like to come look at this later. Right, like I said, this is a big wetland here, big pond set right here. So there might be a beaver dam in there uh, that, that will possibly have to fill up before it makes its way down to this culvert. Let's go look, possibly. This looks like an animal trail. Whoa, -ho! massive toad. Scared me, I don't know what it was at first. All right. See this dip? This was another road right here, and they removed the culvert from here. Let's continue up this animal trail, hoping we don't run into a big angry moose. After more investigating, it's not the pond it once was. This once was a big pond. But now, it's nothing. Google Maps needs to do some updates. Might just be a dry year. Look at the size of this gravel. It's just boulders they used here to fill a washout. It's so uncomfortable driving on it. Driving over gravel the size of footballs. Alright everybody, we're on our way back to look at this culvert pipe after about three hours. We're going to see how it looks. Alrighty, we're back. Just went for a drive to see what was further down this road. Woo! Looks like we dropped back a lot. Looks like we're gonna keep dropping too, so I better leave the camera out here after all, but let me pull over for a moment and show you what's going on after three hours. Here we are back after three hours. Not nearly as much water as when we left it. It's calmed down a ton. We are gonna go down there half mile downstream to see that culvert if it's picked up or not if it hasn't picked up that just means a beaver pond is very low and it's taking all this so if you look down here look how high the water was flowing look at that let's get down the grate didn't even clog up as much as i expected but by the evidence here 
it will probably drop back another four inches or so. This rock was almost completely underwater before we left. Trail camera's still over there. We should have some good time-lapse footage once I, do, once I do that. And looking around, once this drops another four inches, the pond is not gonna look that bad. It's still gonna have many feet of water remaining. If you look over here on the edge, all that dead grass pushed over, that'll start greening up pretty soon. It was a bit drowned because the water must be higher than usual. But this grass right here looks like it's at perfect, at perfect depth, but another four inches won't really hurt it. And I really don't know if there's beavers here or not. Like I said, when I was tearing this clog apart, some of it looks like it could be beaver related, but if it is, it's like five plus years ago. They probably aren't even here because when I started, there was a little bit of water movement. I believe they would have plugged that up and it would have been just going over the road. So we are gonna leave this camera until the morning. Then it should be fully dropped off. At first, I didn't think I was gonna be able to stay out here. I thought I was gonna have to return another day to retrieve these cameras because I started smelling gasoline. And I went in the back and I realized one of my gas cans that allows me to travel this vast distance in the middle of nowhere. One tank of gas can't get me out here because this takes many hours on these rough roads to get to some of these locations. Anyways, one of my fuel cans tipped over and it leaked about one gallon into my sleeping mattress. So I was like, I can't sleep with these fumes, but all it did was stood the gas can back up, propped up the mattress, separated the sheet, and just a few hours of driving, the smell's almost gone. The fuel all evaporated, just driving around with the windows down. So I think we're gonna have a good night. Let's go a half mile downstream now. Now a half a mile may not seem like a lot, but it's kind of a pain in the butt because I gotta drive down this awful road right here. And driving wise, it's probably a mile and a half. I'm saying it's a half a mile downstream but the road actually going there is a bit different. This isn't the worst road, but it's not the best either. So I gotta do this for like another mile. All right, so the road in front of me literally disappears. You see my tracks from earlier today? I had the back up, it disappears right there. So we gotta turn left right here. There's a fire pit. Someone was camping here not too long ago. Not a bad choice since in every direction eventually ends so nobody comes out here. So this way right here, it quickly becomes narrow. Gotta drive down here just a little ways, just a little ways. Now if I keep driving, the road disappears about 200 feet forward. Now I have to turn right here which is impassable after just another 20 feet. So I'm gonna be parking right here, and about 50 feet up ahead is the culvert. This road right here, there's evidence in the winter time when it's not so grown in and you can see more rocks. Somebody brought something down there. I see tracks that aren't too terribly old. Yes, immediately. I hear water. We didn't hear water before because it was flowing too little to be able to hear it. Let's show you guys what's happening in here. First, we're showing the plunge pool area. Yeah, look how deep the little stream got. It flooded its tiny little banks. That's so cool, but this will drop off in just a few hours when the pond is ready. Here's what it looked like before. Plunge pool, barely anything coming out. Yeah, I would definitely like to come look at this later. And here's what it looks like after. I had to blow away a mosquito. Let's get back out to the overgrown road. Now let's show you across. This is where we saw that big toad hopping. Let's get in here. Wow, look at it. Flowing pretty well. Yeah, it's flowing a lot better than it was. Check out the culvert. Here's what it looked like before. Yeah, take a look at this riverbed. Look how little it's flowing. Barely anything. 
And here's what it looks like after. Quite the difference. I'm sure if any beavers are living in this pond out here in rural nowhere, they appreciate the extra water. It's a bit dry out, I'd say. That was totally awesome. Very happy about that result. Okay. We will check on the other place in the morning. No need to come back here. It's just gonna go back to normal in a few more hours. So here we are heading back out to this person's old campsite. If you can see that little fire pit and we'll check back in on this situation in the morning. Good morning, everyone. It's 7 a.m. and we're back to get the camera. Everything should be fully drawn off. This was a good area for camping, very quiet. Only about four cars went by throughout the entire night. And also, happy Memorial Day, everyone. Today is Monday. This has calmed down. I don't know if it's as calm as it was, but it's very close to what it was. I just need to look at the culvert. That's almost as calm as it was. Not exactly as calm. But look at all the clumps of grass we, we went, that went through there. That was awesome. I especially love that one that I didn't mean to send through and I just gave it a kick and it sucked it in. That was awesome. I like that. You're gonna jam it. You can't go in there. You're too big. Ugh. Oh, are you? Yeah, you're too big. Get on out of here. There it goes, it took the whole thing. It took it. Wow, I can't wait to see what that looked like on the other side. It took it in full. Wow, it started blasting. I can hear it so loud on the other side. Ah, the grate fell over. I wonder if just the water pressure was keeping it there or a beaver knocked it over. No evidence of beavers at all. Just need to move that out of the way, try to give it a little more tilt. Hopefully that'll stay. So here's the pond. This is about where it'll stay. It dropped down a good foot. Might drop another two inches, but that's about it. Beautiful morning. A couple mosquitoes are bothering me, but not that bad. They're not very active when it's cold out. Right now we are down to 42 degrees Fahrenheit. Pretty chilly out. I'm feeling it. I like weather like this, but I just woke up about 10 minutes ago and drove right here. Body isn't exactly running yet to keep me warm. I'm just wearing a t-shirt. Uh, our camera survived on that rickety tree. Let's cut it down. Ah, uh, got it.
All right, everyone, I will put the time-lapse footage at the end of today's video. Hope this was interesting. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.